Um, Jake Paul, Mike Tyson had their first practice conference in New York, New York City, faced off for the first time. Had some fan questions, which Jesus were just Christ, dude. Mike Tyson was not having it by the end of it, but well, dude, because he's like the most mature person in that building, which is crazy. That like Mike Tyson of all people, the guy like, with white tigers, white tigers. He has a face tattoo. And he's like the guy who's like, man, where's your mother at? Like, what's going on? He's, he's not wrong. Because we got, we've got to see this. This is like, well, see, the thing is, Mike, it was even yeah. when Mike was unhinged. And I'm sorry to cut you off here. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Mike, regardless. I, and look, he had his moments. But Mike had fucking respect and matters. Exactly. He was disrespectful in the ring, you know, and all that. And he was definitely disrespectful. I mean, he bit Lennox Lewis that one time. And, you know, I mean, and he, he didn't right, have his. Well, actually, he, he also bit Holyfield in the ring. But I mean, and he didn't have his lashes. You know, he called out that white reporter. That white reporter. He said he'd make. You know, he'd make him his bitch. He, which, by the way, he called him F A G O G G O T. Can't say it. We're not going to say it. Yeah. YouTube. And there's nothing wrong with if you're gay. He called just him, for the record. He called him a pile of sticks. Basically correct. And there's nothing wrong if you are gay. But he did call this reporter gay. <laughs> Thank you for clarifying. Just, that. just I have just for you, the YouTube censors out there. I want them to be aware. There's and nothing wrong with that it. That he would fornicate with them. Correct. He did say this, and there's nothing wrong with that. And he could he never live in his world. And he could, and there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong. Look, look. Iron Mike and his and he called him a female and had me. That's true. He did say that. And there's <laughs> look. And there's you <laughs> love my censorship here. <laughs> Look, dude, I'm just trying to I'm just trying to protect the brand, okay? The course I sign off brand needs to be protected. But yes, Mike Tyson did say those things whenever he was unhinged. Um, which by the way, can we talk about for a second here? Dude, you know Customata's looking down at us. There's there's and no he's like, What the fuck he's like, Yo, happened I'm... to this sport? <laughs> Customato is rolling in his fucking grave. Willie yeah. Pep, Rocky Marciano, those fucking old fucks. <laughs> Those guys who are true gladiators. No, well, Jake Lamotta. Dude, you don't know any. Do you say Jake Lamotta? Is that who you said? Willie Pep. And I say Jake- I said Willie Pep. Rocky Marciano. Rocky Marciano. My bad. I heard Jake Lamotta. I was like, dude, Jake Lamotta was. He was the original Mike Tyson. People don't know this. The Raging Bull was not accurate at all, dude. I know, dude. He fucking. Whew, I just read his wiki one time, and you're like, whoa, you need a cigarette, dude. It's like Jesus Christ, guys. Oh, but God. Yeah, he was he was a he was an Italian man in the forties. I guess that's all I need, that's all I need to say. But, um, yeah, bro, um, this press conference was one of the worst of F five. Maybe not one of the worst I've ever seen. Because I've seen a lot of press What's conferences. Worst, what do you think is the worst press conference you've seen outside oh, of the one that man. got invaded on Zoom that we were on? Oh, that one was Which bad. Funny, that was also Mike Tyson. <laughs> yeah, dude, Mike Mike is just he man. I can't think of the the worst one I've ever seen. I mean, it, there's been there's been some like just ones that have been boring. I'd say the worst thing could be is boring. The second worst thing could be is annoying, and that was most of this fucking press conference. But but is there one you can think of off the top of your head by any chance? I mean, uh, oh yeah, what am I saying? Colby Masvidal, Colby uh, Jorge Masvidal. Oh God, he was dressed Whenever. like a. So so Colby showed up looking like. I, the he, Confederate soldier, basically. <laughs> Masvidal was wearing like a black. He, he was just Scarface. The yeah, Scarface hit. yeah, and it was just, and it was just not. And they were like yelling about like, oh, you know, and, by, and like by the way, by like the way, it's funny because they both played a character essentially, and both yeah. characters did not fit in their universes. Correct, correct. And they were talking shit, and it's like, dude, and they started talking about like, nah, Trump loves me more, and it's like, nah, Trump. He's like, you're, I bet you're an Obama supporter. You voted for Obama, and it's just like, and it's like, dude, like you lived with I, me. I knew you voted for Obama during the Obama. It's situation. like, bro, I watch sport because I'm, I'm, I'm into politics. I am. Like, actually, you know, off, I mean, I won't talk about it on here, but like. I fucking love. I love getting the the, the nitty gritty of politics, but bro. This is cage fighting. I don't need to hear about either one of your fucking. Because I know you're a cage fighter. I automatically assume you support Donald Trump. It just is what it is. I don't. <laughs> I, don't I don't have to. I don't have to listen to it. It's like, like you know, Tony Kelly does. T- Tony Kelly. That what? BK. Did you see BK? He had a guy who's a straight up neo Nazi fight. Not even like. Not God, even like. Not even God like. Damn it, Josh! You can't even, say that word now. We're gonna get fucking shadow banned. Oh God, no! But it's not even like. It's not even like you know how like there's guys who are like. Well, what it was a N A Z I. Dude, there. You know how like some people online are like, oh, you're an N A Z I or whatever, and it's like he said something like, not even like very political. People are just like, <laughs> oh, you're like, oh, you're this, you're that. This guy 
he has like the tattoo. Oh it's shit! Like, it's like how did that guy like he's on fight TV now in perpetuity? Like it's like that guy like he's how do you even, how do you even let that go through? And like he knocked out a guy, and I'm like, well, fuck, it's a white dude. So I mean, what are you what are you gonna do? He didn't he didn't bring attention to his cause, but it was a white white guy versus a white guy. Yeah, it was some white on white crime. You definitely gotta do a white guy versus a black guy with that guy. <laughs> exactly, exactly. But they didn't know apparently. I mean, I guess they just missed the fucking. So he, when he took <laughs> off his shirt, is. they were like, "Fuck!" They're like, "Yo, all right." But anyway, so so Jake Paul, Mike Tyson. By the way, this if he sucked. fights again, does he have to cover them with fucking war paint? Like, <laughs> dude, you know what they should do? They should, he should get a back in the day. Do you remember whenever boxers? I don't know if you saw this. Back in the day, they have like tattoos, like temporary tattoos of the sponsor on like their back. Oh, fighters would do that too, right? Yeah, yeah. And fighters still do that, like in Europe a lot. Yeah, they still do. Yeah, like I think Butterbean fought. Uh, he fought Larry Holmes with like dude wipes or some shit on his back. Like, nice. <laughs> But anyways, um, yeah, dude, Jake Paul, Mike Tyson. Oh, this is one of the worst press conferences I've seen in my life. Uh, not even like it started off fine, right? Like I, I don't even, I don't like this fight, but like everything was fine, and they started having like fan questions, which it's like, dude. So then this, which the one that went viral was like this thirteen-year-old. If as, that, if easy for them. if thirteen, I'm doing a lot of, I'm doing some heavy lifting here with the thirteen estimate. You know what I mean? I'm being, I'm being really fucking lenient. This kid gets up there. He's like, uh, how many, how many, have you guys, you guys been with, how many, what's your body count? What's your body count? Have you, have you, if you guys had, what's your, what's your thing? They just start fu- fucking Fortnite kids. The kid was watching Skibbity Toilet right before he went up there. You know what I mean? <laughs> that sort of shit. He's one of those. And he just starts asking questions. It's like, and even Mike Tyson's like, where is your mother? Like, where are your parents? He's like, he's not wrong. Though. And he, he, this wasn't even, he was genuinely concerned. I'm like, dude, yeah. Dude. How? And then after that. To, How did they allow that kid to go up? I'm surprised they allowed him. Because they knew it would go viral. And for people like Jake Paul, he all that go matters up. is going viral. It doesn't matter if it's good or not. By the way, do you think that Jake Paul employee that went up there is actually an employee and he actually got fired? I don't think he actually got fired. I do, I do know he's an actual employee. That's the guy that was in talks to fight our buddy Ben Davis. Uh, ben oh, dude, and, I had a den. Dude, I would have. And uh, he ducked the bag him. on Ben Davis. Yeah, he ducked him. He could. He continues to duck him. Better. 